guys, so my name is Faith and I'm a sociology student at the University of Ottawa and I also minor in conflict studies and human rights and with this degree I hope one day to simply just help people because in today's society there's so much chaos happening and honestly I just want to see a better world for all of us and another way of which I like to you know just do good in our world is through my art and to me every time I create art I'm telling a story and I see colors as words and with every word when you put them together you create a story and just as art when you put colors together you create you can create a story and I like to leave that to other people to interpret my art in the way they feel and I like to create very positive images with positive and bright, vibrant colors because usually vibrant colors attract the feeling of happiness and at peace. And within our world, that is very necessary because of the chaotic world we live in today. It's important, it's important to just take a moment and step back and just to feel the emotions you're feeling. And I would like to basically do good in our world by allowing people to have that space and like platform by either creating art or just experiencing art, looking at art and feeling whatever emotions that this world kind of brings to us. So Rosemary Brown was the first black woman in Canadian parliamentary body. Uh, she was elected in the Provincial Assembly in 1972 in British Columbia. And those actions on their own are so, empower so empowering within the black community as she's paved the path for many other black people and women to do more than what they're expected in society. And due to this, I created this piece, which are actually inspired by her words, which were to be black and a woman in a sexist and a racist society is an interesting position to be in because there's only one way to go, which is up. And I chose an elephant because elephants are seen as respectable creatures of nature um, and are very powerful at the same time. And this is kind of like how I see black people as well as women in our society. These are two groups of people in our society that are to be respected for the hard work that they do. And as a black woman within our society, I see her words as motivation to do more than just the rest of the world expects me to. And for more information on Rosemary Brown, you can click the links below. Good morning, Tavish. I'm your host, Hamal, and this is my co-host, Yang Yang. And it's a day two. Today is Pink Shirt Day. Thank you to those that are wearing pink in support of anti-bullying. History of Pink Shirt Day. It was nearly 15 years ago at a school in Nova Scotia, Canada. And two students, Travis Price and David Shepard, heard that a younger student was being bullied for wearing a pink shirt to school. Instead of standing by and watching it happen, they decided to step up and do something about it. They didn't know what to do immediately, but came up with the idea that if they were pink and got other people to wear pink, that the bullies couldn't bully everyone. So they went and bought everything they could find that was pink, tried to encourage their friends to wear pink, and their friends' friends to wear pink. And next day, out of 1,000 kids, 850 students wore some kind of pink. And from there, Pink Shirt Day started. Almost 13 years later, their act of standing up to bullying has grown into a worldwide movement called Pink Shirt Day. Bullying has changed 
even in the last 13 years. With the evolution of cyberbullying, but the message has stayed the same. It's about helping one person. We have to be upstanders and look out for those who have been treated badly and not stand by and let it happen. We have to make sure that everyone understands that, there's, that there are safe places to go and talk, that there are people out there that want to help them. Pink shirt day is important. But it is more important to understand that it's not just about the shirt. It's about the everyday actions that you make. It's the choice that you make. And it's the person wearing the shirt that makes those choices. It's asking people how their day is. And asking people if they need to talk about stuff. It's standing up for what is right. Even when no one else is looking. The next grad meeting is today at lunch in room 2010. We will discuss fundraising, grad photos, rings, and more. Junior High GSA is meeting today at lunch in room 1130. Junior High Esports Club is meeting today at lunch in Computer Lab 1150. Talent show is premiering this Friday during Block 2. Everyone will have a chance to vote for the winner of the $75 prize for People's Choices. Now to sports. Hello McTavish, I'm Yahye and this is the sports for today. Uh, for the junior high, we, we will have 9N and 9B in the junior high gym. And in the varsity gym, we'll have the grade 11s and 12s. Thank you, have a great day. Thanks. We are wanting all students to be aware that they are not to be congregating with other students in washrooms or under the stairs during transition times or lunches. Staff and supervisors will be reminding all of this, but we need to decrease the congestion in these areas and make sure that students are in areas that can be actively supervised. So don't go into the washroom, people. <laughs> Today's French word of the day is yaourter. Its literal translation is to yogurt. It's a word used to describe singing or speaking in a language one either doesn't know very well or has decided to fake in whatever context they're using. Friday is sunglasses day. Your future is so bright that you have to wear shades inside. Any students interested in ordering McTavish music clothes, visit the website link here. Orders are due March 3rd. Clothings will be delivered to the school. There will be a science fair meeting at lunch today in room 1124 for those that have questions or to get help submitting your project. Also, please be sure to fill in the Google form on the, on the classroom as part of the entrance process. Grade 8 and 9 band students are reminded to bring in their $20 uh, deposits for the band uniforms as soon as possible. Happy birthdays to Megan, Emily, Emily Morgan, Hayden, Ashini, and Kennedy. Have a great birthday. Now here's a fun fact. Did you know that uh, the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn? That's a crazy fact. <laughs>